Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a review and demo on the new Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. So this is another new product for 2016 from the drugstore and I had actually initially seen this when I made my initial order of drugstore products from drugstore.com but I have dry skin so I was like matte foundations isn't something I normally gravitate towards. Usually they're not very good for my skin. I'm not a big fan of them. Um, but it did say hydrating so I didn't order it then but I had seen it in the stores and I was back and forth should I get it should I not should I get it the fact that it said hydrating on there I was like you know what let's check it out let's see what they mean by this whole hydrating thing um, so I finally picked it up they have about 12 shades in stores which I think it's okay I feel like it might be a little bit difficult if you're more maybe on the really fair side or the dark side I picked up mine in the color 40 nude and I feel like this worked out for me I feel like they're could have been an in between because it jumped from 20 to 40 so I could have even been a 30 but I feel like 40 new works pretty 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 well for me this runs for about nine to eleven dollars depending where you're at um, Ulta.com they have about eleven dollars right now same thing I would say around Walgreens the texture of this is really interesting it's actually kind of like a moussey souffle type texture it comes out when you kind of um, place it on your hand and honestly I would say this is something that you have to work pretty quickly with um, before it dries out on you just before it sets so I actually really really liked you know blending it out with a beauty blender and I was surprised at how nicely this blended out I know it comes with a sponge in store specifically for this product but I just use my beauty blender and I really really loved the way that it blended out on my face and honestly I have to say I was very very surprised with this product I really didn't have any sort of high hopes let alone hopes that this would work out for my dry skin because I had actually or most matte uh, foundations they feel matte but this does not feel matte on my face this feels like a satin finish maybe like if you're an oily to say a normal skin foundation it might be feel like a demi matte it feels like maybe like a satin demi matte foundation by no means does this feel dry on my skin I definitely feel the hydration it feels moisturizing on my skin um, a lot better because normally when I do a matte foundation I had actually tried the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation for some reason I thought this was going to be really nice you know feel like a satin finish I feel like for normally oily to normal skin people it feels like a really nice satin finish for me with that foundation it felt very matte it felt very drying um it felt like you know when you put on a face mask um and it's a very drying one it kind of dries up in your face and everything just feels like really tight and really stiff that's what that super stay felt like but the Dream Velvet, this felt so hydrating. This felt like I was wearing just a regular satin foundation and blended out. And it didn't dry up my skin. It didn't kind of like shrivel up and tighten up as I was applying and even after I let it set. And normally when I try um, matte foundations, once they set, it just... It does not look like skin. It definitely looks really cakey. But this stayed very, very... This stayed really nicely on my face, I gotta say. The coverage for me, I feel like this felt like a very like light to medium coverage. I feel like you can definitely build it up to a maybe full coverage if you wanted. But I didn't want to build this up too much on my dry skin. If you're oily, I would say maybe go ahead and try it. But I was good with just one layer of foundation all over my face. I feel like it really did cover any blemishes that I have. In the demo, as you'll notice, I definitely had some redness, some kind of like blemishes going on but this covered it up really really well I did not use um, any concealer during the demo or even after on my face at the moment and I honestly don't feel like I really need it the last thing I feel like this is gonna last a lot longer depending on your skin type I have dry skin so I feel like it lasted me maybe around after the six seven hour mark that's when I feel like it started fading but I feel like it's going to fade off of me, someone with dry skin, a lot quicker than it's going to fade off of someone who has oily to normal skin. Just like I feel like people with oily, oilier skin with maybe say more luminous foundations, um, glowy, dewy foundations, they feel like it slides off their oily skin. Whereas myself, my dry skin, I feel like those type of luminous, dewy foundations last a lot longer. So give or take, depending on your skin type, I feel like it'll last less time or more time. For me, I still I feel like that was good enough for a days um, going around the day of and even just doing check-ins throughout the days like just when I set my makeup even when I added that light dusting of powder as I normally do before I add maybe contour and blush it looked really really great I was 
I was pretty surprised. Overall, I actually did like this foundation. I was surprised at how much I liked this foundation. Um, I wouldn't say that I love this foundation, mostly because I am dry skin, so normally matte foundations aren't something that I gravitate towards a lot, but if I did want to wear a matte foundation, this is definitely the type of matte foundation that I would go for because I want matte, but I still need that hydration. I still need some type of moisture, and I've tried it with different primers, high-end primers, and even um, drugstore primers. I tried it with the um, Cover FX Illuminating Primer, my number one primer. That was the first one I tried it out with because I was like, honestly, if it does not work with that primer, it's probably not going to work with anything else. I loved it with that one. And then I even used it with the new CoverGirl um, True Blend Face Primer, this one for dry skin specifically, and I loved it a lot with the CoverGirl one as well. So honestly, just try different primers, and they def this foundation definitely worked for me. Um, if you're dry skin and you wanted to try out a matte foundation that isn't going to make your face feel like really tight and matte and you know kind of cakey, but if you're oily skin, I think you'll like this even more than I did. Who knows, this might be your go-to. Um, let me know if you're oily skin, if you tried this and how you kind of felt about it. But honestly, I would say go ahead and try it if you're interested. It's definitely one to check out. Um, I definitely think Maybelline did a pretty good job with this foundation, something new. I was really surprised how impressed I was with this foundation. So if you guys want to see some more reviews and demos of some more 2016 drugstore products, I will link those down below. Definitely checking a lot of those products out. Um, make sure to subscribe to keep up with some more videos and I'll see you guys next time.